Oh, okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Huh? Yes, yes. We can okay. hear you. Yeah, for some reason, like, my volumes aren't showing on my phone sometimes. Yeah, ETN's pissed. Uh-oh. What's he? He just texts us and he's like, everybody's calling me now. Make it stop. You started all this shit. I was like, well, I don't know. Fix the floors. <laughs> You're using him getting harassed to your benefit? Well, he's like, I sent you a screenshot of what he texted me this morning for this afternoon. He's pissed. Oh, you you gave his phone up, right, idiot. You should have no, never I done that. I didn't do I didn't give it out. Yes, I you did. When I said you reached the voice mailbox of 832, you let the whole shit flat on your video. No. You did. You gave everybody his phone number. He's fucking pissed at you. No, you tried to dox Julie. I didn't dox Julie. You Julie tried S. To. You tried to. Julie S. That's doxing somebody. You're trying to right now, Dork Dumbo. Anyways, no, fuck no. How am I doxing it? Like, everybody, apparently, after what you did to Lisa S., what did I do to Lisa S.? Who gives a shit about those people? I'm talking about Julie S. I care about Lisa. Who's Lisa S.? What are they, like, sisters I or something? Lisa C. Yeah, I'm Julie, Disney, Julie S., forget, the, forget, the, forget Lisa, whatever, whatever her name is. Lisa's more important to me than fucking Julie is. Well, bitch, Julie's more important to me than you. And now I got neither one. I called her a bitch, too. Fuck, sorry, ladies. Damn it. No, I'm not selling out. I'm still fishing for an apology for Julie. Can nobody appreciate that? Damn it, Michelle. Why you gotta make me look like a buffoon? Oh, my gosh. Dude, man, Michelle, you made me look like a buffoon. All right, let's start over, Michelle. Let's start over. All right. <laughs> you know you ain't gonna fucking apology out of me. <laughs> Seriously, give it up. You'll never have me on the show ever again if you expect an apology. Legit. Ever. You'll never have me on the show. You ain't getting an apology out of this ass. Sorry, not sorry. Text me another day. Oh, well. How are you doing today, honey? You look tired. You look high. Yeah, you just made me feel miserable. I'm so miserable. You, missed, you hurt my feelings. You made me feel terrible. <laughs> Distraught now. Would you like a hug? I wouldn't even take would a mouthful like from you on my penis. Would Michelle. you like a little nuzzle, nizzy, nizzy, nizzy on your head? Would you like a hug? Like nizzy, my... nizzy, nizzy on your... Michelle, I would not let you hug my penis with your mouth right now, or ever. All right, stop it. Stop it with the pervert talk. And now you've been I said the head, like, that, well, I can't even say that your blood flows to you because I don't know if you have too many brain cells going on there with all the weed you smoke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're stupid. That was funny. <laughs> that, was, that was funny. You got me on that one. <laughs> Blood only goes to one head. How about I give you on the noogie on the head that you can see and you can identify without a magnifying glass? <laughs> <laughs> so, wait, hold on. You don't think you did? So, never, let's forget it because I don't I think that's. So, that is like bringing up Toastgate. Don't make me bring up that hard monitor again. And look, is it wrong <laughs> that every time I hear that video, I laugh harder? <laughs> every time, so, I, every see time it, you hear a hard monitor video, you laugh harder. I see a clip and I hear beep, 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 and I hear people getting triggered. I just laugh harder. Every time I see a clip, I laugh harder. The clip, I'm like, <laughs> Oh my god, Michelle, I'm so triggered. I heard a heart rate monitor. It brings me back to the days when so and Joe, Joe, Joe Blow, Joey Bo, my cousins, aunties, nieces, nephew had a pacemaker in his heart and it flatlined. I mean, come on. You, so if you're so triggered, then never walk in a hospital again because you hear beep, 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 beep constantly. I trigger people that they need to go to counseling. Oh, oh, do you need to go to counseling because I played a fucking heart monitor? <laughs> Get some thicker skin, you fucking stamps. <laughs> have you ever lost anybody besides like the terrible thing I know about? Like, have you lost anybody? I, I played a heart rate monitor. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay. So I'm on your side. Listen, oh, I'm on your side don't about go to it. Any movies because they shoot people in movies, and I'm sure that you've had somebody that you know that's ever been shot. And don't go watch any kind of like late night TV shows because there's always some kind of trauma in an emergency room, and somebody always dies. I'm a break. I'm a plot taking it. Somebody always dies, right? So you shouldn't be watching TV if shit like that triggers you. Beep 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 beep. 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 <laughs> you know what triggers me? What baby? When you try to take away from my ability to keep streaming. I don't take away from your ability. What do you do when you attack people or try and make people like Julie a target? I haven't made her a target. I give two fucks about Julie. If you like Julie, Smoley, Bully, Holy. Smoley. You're making her a target. Stop insulting, my friend. I'm not insulting her. I'm telling you that she doesn't matter in my life. Like, it doesn't matter. She mattered enough for you to I'm not going after her. I'm not doing anything to the woman. It's irrelevant. She mattered enough for you to get a message about her and try and That was like Snooks saying, don't ever come to my channel. Bitch, I didn't even know your channel name. I don't even know who Snooks is. Exactly. Who's that? Who's Julie S? I never heard of them. Who the fuck is that? Exactly. Who's Julie S? That's my moderator, the woman that's come on show, the nice lady. She has nice uh, pink nails. She's funny. She, she's uh, intelligent. She was nice to you for the most part. For the most part. Yeah, what do you think? So, what? She was a critical until you got the right to go and attack her, you feel? That's ridiculous. You're, I never attacked her. I just read out a fucking death message. Yeah, you do not. So, you're going with the dumb bombshell defense that you don't read what you read before you read it out loud. I don't. I always read shit out loud. I get in trouble for that all the time. All the time. I get in trouble for that all the time. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You're right. something is posted and I will read it. What? Starting to lose sub ski. No, he's not, Lauren. See, I taught ski how to check. Michelle, time out. You guys, Michelle, listen to me. Yeah, she's going up. They're not going down. Thank you, Aray Sunshine. Boom. Boom. 
Are oh, you jealous little angry vaginas? <laughs> I want to be on Ski's good side. I wish Ski talked to me like that. Well, guess what? He doesn't. <laughs> you know, I do talk to Julie like that, though, but now we don't because of this fallout situation. And I'm, and I, you were the one that went on her ass. I didn't. I saw you go off on her. Why? Because she went on someone else's show? Exactly. You kicked her off. You took her ranch because she went on somebody else's panel. So that has nothing to do with me. So you're not even getting a fucking apology out of me. You need to apologize to your moderator. You're a dumbass. You're you're you, apologize for for you are so stupid, Michelle. I'm not asking no, you to apologize you're, for you're me. Apologize you're to your like, moderator. That's your moderator. I can apologize. Well, Michelle is such an arrow. Oh, now everyone's going facts and shit. You're, you are outrageous. That's I'm true. Right. It's facts. You, like, kicked her off. I'm apologizing to my moderator. And you're like, you were like, on somebody else's panel. We could have at least saved your funny story for over here. Yes, you did. You acted like a child that night. Are you trying to win Julie over or something? You no, I don't care about her. She's irrelevant. But if you want to put the blame on somebody, like, point the finger. Roar, you point the finger at me. What is it? You turn the finger at you. So someone would restate that? Well, you're thinking I'm mad at Julie because she went on someone else's show and I'm just using you. You did. You fucking called her out. You but dragged her down ready? and took her wrench because she went on Truth of YouTube. That what does that have to do with ass? you and what you did? I didn't you shit the hard because I read off a text that somebody said she was going to be fired from a property management job. Now you're doxing her again like a dumbass. Shut up about it. Just forget you even know who that is. I'm willing to say that it was my fault that she's not in the stream right now. But just stop saying it. You, you can't don't stand. ask me to apologize. No, it's not my fault she's not in the stream. She, well, yeah, that is my fault because I had the argument with her. But Probably it's your fault all the shit got started. It's your fault. It's your no, fault. it's not my fault. I have to say, after critical, critically assessing the situation. Yeah, well, stop trying to put the blame on everybody. But it's my fault that ATN's pissed off. <laughs> it is your fault. <laughs> uh, it's your fault that Julie's mad, but uh, it's my fault that ATN's pissed. That was retaliation 101, classes in session. But actually, you don't lose, right? because ATN's still going to like support you. Julie probably will never even watch my stream again. ATN's going to have to listen to you every, every beck and call you have. Not even the same dynamic. Oh, did you get like flabbergasted and just exasperate because you realized that I, I got you back for what you were doing to Julie? Cuckoo. Hey, sorry, I was going to turn a text message. Uh-oh. Well, you were talking all kinds of nonsense, so I just wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> I'm saying, uh-oh, what was the text message? Was ATN on his way over there? Yeah, he's running up here, trust me. He's blowing the wheels off that pool by four. Where's he going to leave his girlfriend at while he, while he comes over? Uh, I'm, I'm going to invite her to stay down in the Airbnb. You, you're going to let Lauren come to the Airbnb? I don't, I don't even like Lauren no more. You're cool with her now? Oh, yeah, she's awesome. Awesome girl. She's amazing. Oh. You should try and hook up with Martin Scorelli. She wants a threesome. Martin Scorelli, she got a sheet. She's got a little kink in her. Something ATN didn't have, you know. Spice some things up. ATN has something that she don't have. Mm, what? Maybe he doesn't. I got something. What? I'm not gonna say it because it's gonna be clipped and sent back to him because people keep clipping my shit and keep sending it back and I can't anymore. I just can't anymore. Have you ever showed him that humongous giant toy you got? Wait, my uh, Hitachi? No, you got that other one that's not a Hitachi. It's just a fucking four, two foot tall little robot. I mean, a little rubber, uh, like a little rubber thing. That's I don't know. I don't know. I can send him a picture of it if you like. Is he the guy that bought it for you to use on him? No, 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 no. <laughs> Definitely not. Definitely I, not. Have a suspicion, maybe. Oh, there's trades for then. Those were for Etienne and I. <laughs> I was just joking about his girlfriend having a little kink. My God, guys. My God, um, guys. But I think you're being serious when you say that somebody had you buy that to use it on them, and that thing is like big. That thing is actually bigger than my one. So how, how many inches is that thing? Like I don't seven, know. Let's, let's go bust I think it's out. 22 inches. What the fuck? Are you out of your mind? Jiminy Christmas. What? I think 22, maybe 27, maybe 32 inches. Maybe uh, 52. What? Uh, 52 inches. 52 inches. Are you talking about yourself or the, the dildo toy? It's What's 50? dildo. 52 inches? Do you know how big that is, Michelle? Man, I'm dangerous with that. That's like a sword, Michelle. That is as long as my arm. You got one that's four feet, 52. That's like four yeah, feet. Yeah, you like that. You're outrageous. Whoa. Ooh, I got to cash it up. Let's go. Oh, let's get you that with ladies. Oh, look at what John just wrote. <laughs> John Hyde. Let's see. What she says, you want to ride the 40-inch toy or whatever you got? Where's it at? Once in the chat, baby. I missed a, uh, I missed a comment. Michelle, I'm not reading the comments. You tell me, Michelle. Let me ask you a it question. Is, hey, Michelle, listen. Is, to me. Um, where to go? Michelle, listen. You dealt with ladies who take foot longs all day. Bigger, longer than foot longs, like 15 inches. God, that's crazy. That'd be like in my throat. How, Michelle, uh, listen, uh, you want to go down this line, Michelle? What's the biggest you ever had? I can. What? You, and that's what? Eight and, eight and what? Just like eight quarters. Michelle, you never had. Well, I mean, you know, that's about. You know, come on. Uh, that's not bad. That's like huge. Well, not bad. No, I'm saying like, come on. Like you're talking about people with foot longs. Like there's dudes that do pornos that got like 15 inch dicks. So that's like 20. Okay, well, I'm really tired. Really I've never run into a 15. No, don't feel, feel blessed. You're, you're you know, fortunate. I guess good for me. I've never run into you a 15. You would have got, you got vaginal 15 plastic me. You would have got vaginal plastic me if you would have used one of those. Like your things that are supposed to be on the inside. Yeah, I can't outside. either. I've got gag reflex. Horribly, horribly bad. So, listen to me. Listen to me closely. You said 18 is whatever he is. Literally twice that. That's like. That's ridiculous. Lazy. 
I agree. Shit, what, what do you agree? I mean, what do you mean? I agree. Catch that. That's crazy. Uh, my favorite comedy act on Friday night. We're talking about us. Thank you for the catch that. About who? Us? Yeah. You know no, you got yeah. keys. That's insane to do them. It's probably twice as long in, but whatever. That's a ridiculous, right? And then chicks do that with like 10 different guys like that or 80 guys like that all at once. And then, so, you were at least getting some chips when you was having, having your, uh, whatchamacallit. I guess so. Listen to this, Michelle. I knew a chick that was. Who would Michelle have on the Desert Island? Scary. Michelle, 100% again. Michelle, I got a proper support. You listen to me. I'm gonna, I'm no, gonna that's, easy. that's an easy answer, Kelly. It's again. 100%. What? I mean, it's a yes no matter what. 100%. Well, I mean, I've been with him for almost a decade, so I know how to live with him and get away with him and. Who? Like, get away from him and, like, I know how to. Yeah, it's which, not which. Uh huh. Get him, gimme. What are we talking about? Somebody asked who I'd rather be stranded on a desert island with, you or ATN. Oh, and you picked him over me? Well, yeah, he's got those army skills, man. He can, like, make a fire or make, like, um... He can't think for shit. He ended up with you. <laughs> I got ah, you're, that was a good one, Ski. That was a good <laughs> one. Well, you know, he's got a master's in foreign relations, so... <laughs> oh. 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 What did that tell us? You probably could, like, a little Latina broad, huh? Um, no. Oh, you said that pretty quick. Why would you, why would you be so dismissive? Actually, you know people? what he does? He thinks that's hot. I've got some pictures of him when he hooked up with some chick overseas. It's not Latina. I think he likes Asian. I was gonna say, not Asian. Who doesn't love Asians? Sheesh. What about you, Michelle? You don't, you don't like Asian? Asian nice is with his new hot girlfriend. Y'all, I can't slander him. Then don't. But I promise you that he is not pegging someone right now. Ah, uh, he's getting the peg on. Come on. Etienne's getting this hump on. Be real. Insurance, too. That was, that's my favorite name. Insurance. Insurance Adjusto. That's my favorite. Insurance Adjusto. Nice. What do you, what? So. I'm disgusted with Vile. I know. What do you think about ATM? Asian lady boys. You know what? I used to tease him about that, Reckon. I told him that he was with a lady boy. I saw that picture. I was like, that's a lady boy. Oh, that's a lady geez. boy. Was it? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. It looked like a lady boy to me. What, I used so to talk about that picture for a long time. What was it like, the small person? Or what was it like, it looked like a lady? I slandered him yesterday all day. Yeah, he knows. Trust me, my email's been blowing up. Yeah, thirteen dollars, thirteen thousand check fraud. Yes, most definitely. He knows my phone has been blowing up all day. He's not happy. How do you feel? I mean, how do you feel? About He's me? pretty fucking pissed. Danielle, you sound record. like a broken record. I'm ignoring you on purpose, you little bitch. That's what he said. No, Danielle, just keep repeating the same oh, thing. The same thing. The same thing. Like, get me to comment. I'm ignoring you. You're irrelevant. You're Stop ignoring me so yourself. much. Don't you got fucking Tourette's? Yes, I can you say that. Our really good friends have Tourette's. And we make fun of it all the time. That doesn't mean you can make fun of it just because one of your friends lets you. He probably don't appreciate it. He's hilarious. He's hilarious. He's got like the ticking Tourette's. He doesn't have the. Oh my Tourette's. gosh! When you go saying dumb shit, don't say say the dumb shit for your own stream. He's, Did you get a channel banned? One away? of my best friends. Yeah, my channel. You're here desperately trying to like insult people to like. My channel is fine. Then why are you talking like an airhead? Stop that. Because I'm just being me. Yeah, but like now you're trying to upset and rile up people and, and those related to people who have Tourette's. Cut it out. Mm. Well, drop in nuke. Send ski a ten dollar cash app and you're gonna hack my account. Good luck. <laughs> I'm on VPNs. You're on GPS. VPNs. What's that? They can't get it. Her channel is gone. No, it's not. Hmm. Your channel's gone. That's not. It's there. They say it's gone. Well, I'm looking at it right now. Ooh, there's a cash app. You're not funny at all if you don't cam up. That's a cash exactly. app. People are timing John ah, Exactly. Do you agree with that cash app? Yes, That's cash app, Ski. Of course, cash app them. Put your money oh. where your mouth is. If you want me to shut up, send them the bucks. <laughs> they, said, they said that you're only funny when you got the camera on. Can you turn it on, please? I'll get a cash app if you do, I think. What do you think? I got smoke in my eye. Ah. Here it up. Oh, what's up? Here's cash app. You just want to see my face, fire. Who's moving around the bed? You got somebody moving around. Who's hey, the guy over there? Who's that guy that just scurried out of the bed? It was a rat. It was Richard's no, cousin. It's a guy. Look at that chat. Did you see it? Someone heard it. It was Richard's cousin. Right he took a run for it. I came up and he took a run for it. You got a company over there. Put him on the screen. I do. I do. Uh oh. It's Richard's cousin. Let's, well, she's. Does he not want to be on screen? How you doing, babe? I'm wonderful. That's so, my when I went to the ER, like, time before last, they, like, stuck me seven times trying to find a vein and they blew, like, all my freaking veins out. So, I had to go to the hospital today to get my blood work done um, for my procedure on Monday. And um, I told the lady, I'm like, man, I was like, seven times they stuck me. Seven times they stuck me last time. And, like, they could not get an IV in me. Because I was so dehydrated. My veins just kept blowing, right? And the lady's like, oh, I'll get it. The lady's like, I'll get it on the first time. I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. So she, like, stuck it. And she then she started digging the needle around in my vein. And I'm like, ah. And she's like, just just hold your arm straight. And I did. And boom, she got the blood. I'm like, oh, thank you. At least you don't have to stick me again. I was like a pin cushion for a little while. Oh, and then I ran into one of my doctors that had saw me in the hospital. And he was like, and I was all on my crutches, all pathetic, going to get my blood work done. Because <laughs> my, my foot hurt so bad. He's like, Mrs. Abate, how are you doing? And I was like, oh, he's cute. Crazy. He's like short. He's like 5'2". And he's like really dark skinned. And he's really skinny. And he's got like the sexiest little accent. That was your sexy accent impression? He got a little sexy little accent going on. He's like, Mrs. Abate, how are you doing? I'm like, I'm doing like shit. Look at my foot. It's not healed. Are you on duty today? And he's like, oh, no. It doesn't look like your foot is healing. And he's like, I was like, I'm in pain. And he's like, well, 
you go check yourself back into the emergency room. Tell me you got a procedure on Monday, and um, they'll just give you more pain meds. And I was thinking about it hard, man. It was like one of those decisions, like, I'm really legit in massive pain. And I was like, I only have to go to the ER. Like, they've seen me so many times. They know my situation. I've got, like, a procedure scheduled for Monday. I've got, like, an appointment scheduled for Thursday. Like, obviously, the toe is killing me. It's been, like, five weeks. I'm like, you're going to, you know, I'm to the point where, like, you're going you're gonna to admit me one way or another. You're going to admit me in the ER or you're going to 5150 me, but you're going to deal with my toe. Can we see your toe? Yeah, sure. Hold on. Put your full screen. I know, I know. My toe's so exciting. Oh shit! Oops. It's oh, exciting. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm in your bathroom. You can put a picture of your bathroom up there. <laughs> I know. I'm up on. Okay, let's see. The toe. Whoa! Oh my gosh, Michelle. Hold on a second. Oh, oh wow. Update on the toe. Look at that white part there. Hold on. Don't touch it's it. It's like a piece of like blister oh, that's starting to peel off. Stop it touching it, Michelle. You gotta go wash your hands now. So that's no. It's like a piece touching of skin. It, Stop touching it. Shit. Let me look at the other. Toe. Look at your big toe. It's kind of a little purple. No, it's okay. Are you sure? This is yeah. This is the problem toe. Yeah. Crazy. Do not touch. You gotta wash your hands, Michelle. That's terrible. It's not thing. dirty. What's the texture like? Don't touch. Just describe. Is it like a peanut or what? <laughs> it looks crazy. Um, it just feels like a callus. It's dead. Can you feel like sensitivity? Can you? Oh yeah, I can feel everything. And it's really numb when I'm pressing on it. And if I press hard, it hurts like a bitch. So wow. yeah, I'm not feeling it. It hurts like a bitch. What's it hurt? Like why is that? The infection? Because all your nerve endings go to your fingers and your toes. Okay, enough for <laughs> Damn. And we and we got the update on the foot. Yes, my I'm really hurt, guys. That's describe this. Smell. It doesn't smell like anything. So you say you can feel, feel sensitivity, but it's a, what you call it? It's Kiss a, your toe goodbye. No, I'm not losing my toe, guys. I still have, like, pulse in my foot. Does it seem like it hurts too bad? Well, you know what? They make this awesome thing called medical marijuana. But they also make stronger shit that, like, doesn't come in, like, right? Uh -huh. They call it medical for pain for a reason, and it really does work. James Wan, shut the fuck up. You're so irrelevant. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. People are asking. James Wan, like, interjects every once in a while. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. No, no, nobody cares, you little fucking head. What's the treatment plan on that toe? Like, what's next? Um, I don't know. I have an appointment Thursday with the podiatrist, and then I'll have some more information on there. But I have a pulse still. And when they do my procedure Monday, they said I'll feel a lot better because I'll get a lot of, like, blood flow that's been restricted. Um, what's all that black skin going to fall off? What did they tell you about that? I think they're just going to go in and clean it. I think it's, like, um, a dry blood pot in there. Like, it's just, like... And it hurts, though. Dude. Like, how, so, can you walk? Chop like, the fuck off. They're not chopping my toe off, guys. I promise you that. Yeah, my care. Let me ask you a serious question, Michelle. Are they allowed to do that without your permission? No, no, not at all. Are you sure? I was worried about that when I went into surgery, and so I legit thought that the guy I'm like having my surgery done with Monday that he was going to handle everything. I didn't even know I had an appointment with a podiatrist because his name was the only one that was on the discharge papers, right? Um, and to clean my dirty fingers, my nails are so dirty. I've been scratching Lola on her ass, and she needs a bath. I'm really sorry. Look, why don't you touch your toe though? That's terrible, Michelle. You just had your finger. No, they just said under my fingernails looked your dirty. You get germs under there, Michelle. Come on, be for real. Coming from a habitual liar. Who cares, James Bond? Who cares oh, what you yeah. say? Who cares what you say, James Bond? What the hell? You need to wash your hands real quick, please. Do me a favor. Uh, okay. All right. No, I never had the surgery yet, guys. Yeah. Well, see, you don't need to be touching. You're touching your dog and then your toe. Forget your dog. No, your I scratched Lola and Jake earlier, and I washed my hands. But if there's something oh. like nasty under my nails, if there's a little bit dirt under my nails, I'm really sorry, guys. I'm not going to pick I'm not the inside of my fingernails. It's not your nails. It's your damn toe, if you believe. No, they're talking about my fingernails because I have a little bit of dirt in my fingernails from scratching more. They're talking about your fingernails because you were just on your toe. Like, they don't want nails can't be dirty from the dog's asses. Well, you don't know my dogs. They roll in the mud constantly. And so when I scratch them, yeah, they're kind of dirty right now. It's been raining for the past three days here in Georgia. Maybe you should check the weather. It's been raining all day here. And Sunday, we're supposed to be having some seriously heavy thunderstorms. They are filthy. They are. They are a muddy-ass mess. They're filthy dirty. They're filthy right now. They went and had a mud-rolling rampage earlier today. It's no bad so let's talk turkey. You and ATN, what's the deal? What do you mean? We're divorced. But you owe me $4,000 and he didn't want to pay it. Yeah. Okay. Like, he knows that I don't do drugs. He knows all I do is smoke and drink. So when he's keeping calling me, like, what the fuck is, like, wait, he knows I don't do drugs. He you knows. Hear? ATN, um, uh, Michelle, ATN sounds like Clint Eastwood. Sounds like a fucking, bland, like a, like a old Western sheriff or something with Billy the Kid times. Uh -huh. Did you hear the clip? I mean, that's just what he sounds like. I mean, that's his voice. But did you hear how he answered the phone? I'm not mad. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I didn't really have that impression. He looks different than he sounds. But well, he's a freaking retired officer in the freaking army, a retired major. I mean, he's been on five tours, four in Iraq and one in Kuwait, or one in Saudi. So what are you trying to say? He said he's seen some things, so he's like, uh, he, he answered the phone like a fucking, uh, yeah. It was really like a drill sergeant, right? No, yeah. he, no, 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 no. He, you, you can tell he has like, uh, I don't really know what I'm trying to say. No, he didn't answer the phone like barking orders. Huh? Your dogs are money, muddy running around the house. No, they're not muddy running around the house. The, the mud dried <laughs> off of them. What? Ida wasn't until 2020. Ida was in 20. Right. I passed my realist. I mean, I passed my adjuster's course and I got an emergency adjuster's license through State Farm to work Ida. 
I love all these people say, trying to call me on my shit ski, and they're like, wait, Hurricane Ida was in 2021, and you didn't get your license till 2022. Um, guess what? I had an emergency state of New Jersey license to work Hurricane Ida for State Farm. <gasps> oh, my God. Bar the door, Sally. You thought you caught me in a lie, didn't you? Oh, God. You've been holding that comment back for how long? How long have you been holding that comment back thinking you won't get something on me? Oh, no. Oh 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 no. How long have you been waiting to throw that comment up? I was going to get a donation. How long? It was the opposite. Right. Ida was in 01 and your license, uh, 2021, and your license doesn't, no shit. Because I passed the freaking exam and I didn't have my Georgia license yet. Because I took the wrong exam, actually. I got $50,000, like, um, uh, authorization. So I could write a check for $50,000 through the insurance board in Georgia before I even had my adjuster's license because I took the wrong test. So, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, you thought you were going to bust me in the lie. You thought you were going to bust me in the lie. I did was in 2021. You didn't get your permanent license until 2022. I know that. I know that. Take, my license, my permanent license was given to me three months later. Let me choose oh, the question no, to respond to you, Michelle. Oh, no, guard the door, Sally. Oh, no, I need more facts. Dig a little harder. Dig a little harder. Dig a little harder. Michelle, what do you think about this comment, right? Where'd it go? Where, I lost like, it now. people think they're getting all this information, and then I'm like, boom. And I just completely tell them why, and they're, like, in a stupor, like, oh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. What about that question? <laughs> what? Read that, damn, get together over there. Can you read the question <laughs> on the okay. phone? Hold on. <laughs> I'm sneezing and coughing at the same time. Jeez. Ah! You forgot how to live, huh? Your whole body just forgot how to work. <laughs> the doctor don't have to No, I've got, like, my throat is dry. Right. You need some water. <laughs> like, what do you want us to say? You need some water. That's what I'm doing. I'm drinking water, ladies and gentlemen. There's no gentleman here. Why did she say, say Ski? The, ski, they're trying to get me so, you so mad at me. Guess what? Let me tell you what I said about you, Ski. You ready? Yeah. I said that you were up for like three days straight because I suspected that you were on meth because I was talking shit about you, Ski. Right? And I well, went I on with you when I said, I think you're on meth because you were up for three days. days. People are trying to get you no, I wasn't up for three days. Oh, I, I was up for one night. That rib at you. Oh, and my no. question would be, why do you know so much about meth? Michelle, how do you know so much to suspect whatever? He never wants to talk to me again because I threw that rib at you. Oh, hey, Michelle, you. how do you have such an expertise on methamphetamine? Your on me. Michelle, why, why do you have such an expertise on methamphetamine? I was only up one night and you thought I was doing that. That's crazy. Like, what was, you know, why do you know so much about it? Oh, you know, I'm meth shell. You know that. You know that. You know about them country people and all them backyard trailer, all them property growing all that meth. What is it, Breaking Bad? All that property. You know, they got so many people that probably have hundreds and hundreds of acres of property that got all them little meth labs going up all around this country town. Which actually, I think it's kind of true because I think that all the people that work at this restaurant, like all the servers that are in their 20s, I really think they're all addicted to meth. I really do. So it wouldn't surprise me, like being as rural as I am, that there's not little meth labs, like little Breaking Bads around here all over. Hmm. It wouldn't surprise me. So back to you. How do you know so much about meth? How many times you did it? Once accidentally. I do tell. <laughs> Seriously, once oh, accidentally. Sure. For sure. I was 20, 21, and I used to dance, and our manager would always have, like, shit in his office, and I was tired, and I was like, hey, give me a little bump, because I thought it was, like, white, like, regular Coke, and I never did that, ever, and so he didn't give a shit, because I never asked ever to do it, ever. I was like, I'm exhausted, man. Let me just do a little bump, and he was like, sure, because he didn't go fuck, because I wasn't on the shit, but I didn't know it was crystal meth ski. I was up for three days. I was so mad. I was so mad. <laughs> I was so mad because I like to sleep, bro. I like to sleep. I don't even get why people do crystal meth. I mean, I know why. I like. I thought I was doing coke. Yeah, accidentally. Yes, I thought I was doing a lot of coke, and I did like a little bump of crystal, and I was up for three days. But so I don't know if you know like the history of crystal meth and why they invented it and all that stuff, right? It's from the Nazis. No, no, it was from for bikers, from motorcycle gangs that like ran cocaine and ran meth and no, stuff. No, it wasn't you. Twerp. If it wasn't, they could stay for days and they could make rides from California. Such a twerp. Do your research. It was you. Do your research. It was you think motorcycle gangs invented meth. No, they used to take it to make rides. Like okay, I don't mean that. That's not what it was. You said who? What did you just say? You said who? What it was for? That's not what it was made for. I said that's what they used it for. Is running drugs like motorcycle. One particular group of people may have done a a little bit, a little part of that group. My ex husband Tim got hooked on meth, and that's before it was like um that was when it was like the designer drug. Like he was a workaholic. He never ever stopped working. He never ever stopped working. And he went to Cairo, Egypt, and he was like working on this sat system, like on a bid. And this guy from Cairo is like, oh, here, I'll give you something. And gave him freaking meth. And it kept him up for three days. And he's like, holy shit, I can do this. And I can work for three days straight. Straight. <laughs> Nobody straight. does that. Work Nobody straight. does that. Okay, That's not you what, think what you want. But he was already like the prized person. But he ruined his whole life. He ruined his whole career. Who wants everything. to work for three straight days, Michelle? That sounds terrible. Well, he enjoyed working. He would. He'd write reports. He'd just get in his space. And he would just start writing. I didn't even know he was on meth until we went through our divorce. Because we both had to have a drug follicle test done on us. And I knew I was going to come up positive for Valium because he was a sad diver, right? And when they decompress, they're in like eight by 12 decompression chambers for like up to two weeks with three other 200 pound grown men. 
And so, like, they would have people try to bust out of the decompression chambers, like, pry the doors open and shit. Because could you imagine being locked in an 8 by 12 room with three other men, like, eating, shitting, everything for two weeks? And, yeah, and so I knew that he was on Valium. I knew he'd order Valium from Mexico. I didn't give a shit, man. I mean, whatever. I... You got to cash out. Thank you for that. Let me see I'm going on a road trip tomorrow. Hello? Hello? Can anybody hear me? Michelle is gone. Uh, that's, that's hmm. Well, Michelle. Who? You guys, what? Who? Monkey says what? Well, guys, <clears throat> I gotta make a plan. You know what I mean, man? And what's that plan? Well, that plan, it has to have a start. And let's begin. Once upon a time, there was Michelle. She was sitting in a house on his own lonely hill. Um, she fell and stubbed her toe on a rat's tooth in the basement. Next thing you know, on the floor is where Michelle's face went. When she came back to reality, she looked down at her disgusting feet, and then she noticed to her surprise, oh, my goodness, my, oh my, my toe is black. My toe is black. Oh, my goodness, my toe is black. My toe is black. My toe is black. Oh, my goodness, my toe is black. My toe is black. My toe is black. <laughs> Ooh-wee. <laughs> What do you think about that, Michelle? I've already got you scounded over there. This is entertainment. This is what an entertainer looks like. Mm -hmm. I can change your name, Michelle. Look at this. Look at this, Michelle. That's funny. Uh -huh. Hold on. Let me kick you off. Actually, it'll kick you off. Oh, it says insane. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> I didn't never knew I could do that. All right, we're going to have fun on it. When, when, when you come back, Michelle, we're going to have fun. I think my industry will be some weed, guys. Uh, And then we're gonna come back tonight and do a, do a fundraiser all through the night and tomorrow. Well, I mean, let me think. Let's, think. Let's figure it out. No, that's her bathroom. I can't take that from her. That's her bathroom. It's right here. That's definitely her bathroom. Oh yeah. I ain't gonna take that from you, Michelle. Well, some people would say it's ATN's bathroom, but it's really Michelle's. She got the house. And possession is nine tenths of the law. All right. Ooh, catch up. There we go. Hey, I got, I got one. Thank you for that. That was nice. Catch up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the catch up. Ooh, what came up? What is she up to, guys? Hold on, someone check it. Oh, she says her phone's messed up. Okay, Michelle said her phone is broke. She's politely requesting that I stop the bit. Michelle, this bothers you? Michelle's asking me to take her names off the screen. She said I'm, she said I'm leeching off of her. Relax, Michelle. Hold on. Let me type something else. Oh, my gosh, Michelle. I'm not telling him that. He was on that. Oh, another cash out. I got my Michelle. I'm not telling him that nonsense. Uh, hey, another cash out. It says calling ATN was funnier than she is. Hey, I'm getting, I'm getting, hey, getting blessings over here, Michelle. I'm not telling him that shit, guys. Michelle wants me to tell y'all something. Okay, first of all, I'm not responsible for this. This is not my statement. This is me telling you what Michelle wants me to tell you. This is AKA, or, or in other words, a message from Michelle. I don't know what she said. Or she said she can't uh, talk right now, so maybe she's charging the phone or something. Uh, I don't know, Michelle. You don't, you don't want me to say this. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, she wants me to say something. It's kind of crazy. It does ridiculous, Michelle. Michelle says she's pregnant. There you go. Michelle says she's pregnant. Guys. Michelle says she's pregnant. Again, whatever that means. I guess because she's got kids. <laughs> Tell them I'm pregnant again. <laughs> so, you know, there you go. We're going to leave you with that one, I think. Because we'd more important than Michelle. Michelle's fucking shenanigans. I don't even know what to make of that. Michelle's pregnant, everybody. I mean, if we you know, obviously we would say by who. We've been uh, we've been having some hanky panky with. 
I have another very logical question is how? <laughs> how is that possible? I thought you had a hysterectomy. Yeah, yeah, he said it. How we got some questions, Michelle? Uh-uh. Hello. Whoa, 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 you kept the shit out of me. So tell us more. Go ahead and Boom. get the book. Sorry, I was talking to my girlfriend about my procedure. What is it? I was talking to my girlfriend about my procedure on Monday. Oh, well, I'm not your girlfriend, but it's, that's okay. What, what, what's up? I had to call. I'm sorry. It's important. What about the procedure you were just telling us about? What are you telling us about the new situation? What's going on? No, nah, we were just making arrangements. Because, like, I got, like, I went and got my blood work done today. And, like, my surgical stuff was set yesterday. And so she was just calling and touching base. Seeing, like, what time I had to be there, what time they were going to put me under. Because, you know, I can't be there by myself. I'm not going so to this, home. What's all this nonsense about you're pregnant again? Who said I'm pregnant? God damn it. Did they leave the cat out the bag? <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing here? I'm not familiar What's with up? your technique here. <laughs> what are you, so what are you saying? There's, like, a fake. So let me ask you this, Michelle. Are you pregnant? Oh, my God. I never thought in a million years, in a million years, I never thought that God would like choose me to be the, me the next baby Jesus mama. Because he's going to be coming out as Rasta Jesus, right? Because it's going to be a miracle baby because I don't have any baby parts. They took my uterus. So if I'm pregnant, then it's a God thing. And it's a miracle, a miracle, miracle, dance on the floor. It's a miracle. I'm pregnant. I'm God don't wanna, look, I ain't no Mary Poppins. God don't want me to have the next baby Jesus. He'd be coming out like Rasta Michelle, baby. Michelle, not, stop the nonsense. I'm confused. Are you pregnant or not? <laughs> What part of I cannot carry children do not understand? <laughs> you just were talking about immaculate conception. I don't know what exactly. you're talking about. Exactly. I was like, the only way I'd be pregnant is if God chose me to be the next baby Jesus mama. And I don't think God would choose me to be that person. It'd be Rasta so Jesus. So you're not pregnant. Rasta baby Jesus. What? So you're not pregnant? No. Who made, everybody makes up rumors about me. My God, I have not been able to get pregnant since 2006. It's so crazy. People be like, Michelle farted in an elevator and five people complained. And I've got the names and numbers of the five people. And people would fucking believe it. Can you come up, Michelle? We want to see if you're pregnant. Oh, piss off. <laughs> would you, what? That's not a very friendly attitude. Yeah. Hey, what do you mean by Rasta, by the way? What do you mean by Rasta, by the way, though? Right, baby Jesus, come smoking, come out smoking a joint. What's up? Peace in the world. Peace, 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 peace with you. And also with I'm making fun of Jesus, Michelle. What's wrong with nah, you? Nah, I said, I would, if, if God chose me to be the next baby Jesus mama, I would have Rasta baby Jesus. It'd be like, peace be with you and also with you. <laughs> right? So who are you pregnant by? God. You must have got some action uh, for your wishing. I didn't know about this. I have no idea. So God has impregnated me, and I just went for my blood. Stop, work stop, stop, can you please stop making a mockery of God, please? What's wrong with you? Do you see how these rumors get made up? I'm trying to clear it up. And you're being there's absolutely crazy. no way I can get pregnant. Since 2006, there's absolutely no way I can be pregnant because I had cervical cancer, and they took my cervix. They took my entire uterus. You guys read that on my discharge papers about things that have happened to me in the past. There's absolutely no way, unless God decided to have the immaculate conception and we're going to have baby Rasta Jesus, that I am pregnant. Well, Aggie, you'll have to rewind it. We already you understand it. that it's not funny to joke about stuff like you did with Julie because she has a family and a regular life and uh, a lot to risk, whereas you are like kind of on your own. You only have yourself to worry about. Um, I, it's not my fault that she got fired. I didn't even know that she went she on that. She didn't get fired, dumbass. She's such an idiot. Okay, why, you well, why are you saying that she's got a family to worry about and I only have me to worry about? Because it's a valid point. There's a lot of Julie. Uh, I still have to worry about me and bills too. Because hey, it's you about worry about me. Your bills are paid for. Cut it out. In 81 days, they're not. I thought it was 50. What, you got an extra month? You're counting the extra 30? Wow, you're taking that 30-day grace period serious, ain't you? It was 51. You literally had 30 81. days. 51. ATN, ATN reminded me today that it was 81 days. It's 51. He's adding that 30 ATN days. ATN reminded me today that it was 81 days. He must know you're going to stay that 30-day uh, allotted window. before It's my house. He can't put me out. He knows that. He's so pissed. He's so pissed. What's he going to do? Is he going to come and like, live in your house, too? It's going to be his house. If they'd like to. <laughs> That's what you want, huh? I don't give a shit. I mean, you want to. Wow, Michelle, you just said it all. That's what you really want, huh? You want him to just, you just want to come no, back to No, no, but he's making all these threats. Why don't you okay, just be Okay, you're going to do this? Okay, okay, fine. Okay, okay. Whatever. Whatever. My nose ain't growing shit. I'll be here June 1st. I promise you. And June 2nd and June 3rd. And I'll be here July and August and September. <laughs> I'm going to have a party. I'm un American. Oh, no bullshit. I voted for Trump. I am all American. Trump lost. I am all American. Trump lost. I'm all American. I voted for Trump. Yay. What are you talking about? Trump lost, though. That's a valid, invalid point. I voted for Trump in 2016. He won. Oh, well, he didn't last He's one of the most American people ever. No, he's I not. I love Trump. He's the one who set up that January 6th nonsense. No, he did not. That was set up. He absolutely did. He instigated all that. He thought Dude, he you really need to get president. a little more political because Nancy you Pelosi do. and the like fucking a, mayor refused help you sound like from a outside sources, even knowing that there was a threat to the Capitol that Trump. day. Yeah, 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 How do you mean there was no threat? A woman died, you dumbass. How do you mean no threat? There was a definition of a threat. An innocent person. No, she wasn't innocent. She, she was stormed in the fucking building. No, she didn't have, I mean, she didn't have a weapon person, on her. Her name was She's breaking Babbitt. into the fucking government building. Her and name was like, Ashley Babbitt, and she was yeah, retired Air Force. She was fucking no. running through the door. She's you retired Air Force. My God, she's an airhead just like you. She's a wife and a mother innocent. of a... 
Who cares? Michelle, yes, and she participated in the January 6th thing where police were brutalized. On her. Where the, the, where the, all the buildings were burglarized and defaced and, and, and vandalized. The same fucking cop I can't even know what she got killed. That was Trump's fault. Three years before. Don't start with me about fucking politics. That was Trump's fault. That woman dying, her getting shot in the face was Trump's fault. Don't start with, oh, you're the most ignorant person. You don't even have a job to pay taxes. You don't even know about anything you're fucking talking about without government. Michelle, you don't have a job to pay taxes or no shit. What are you talking about? No, don't you, don't. Don't, you're trying to, yeah, tell me something you know. You don't even know that that shit was un-American. That's the most un-American thing. You probably think those guys should have stayed out in those, that cabin in the right. woods, too, over those cattle ranchers. You airhead. And the cattle ranchers should have been able to stay on their ground, too, and save their property. You're an airhead. That was so un-American. That was Trump's fault. Was it Trump's fault? When, they, when, they, when you had a hysterectomy, did they take your brain, too? No. <laughs> did they do the wrong surgery and remove your brain? That woman got killed. I seen the video. That was completely un-American. That was one of the most disgusting things, especially from a bunch of Trump supporters who were so furious about the Black Lives Matter protest. The and then, you, and then these, right? these knuckleheads go to the fucking federal building in broad daylight. Michelle, you're an uh, airhead. For me. Michelle, 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 Michelle. Michelle, no, no, you Michelle, 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 you're an airhead. You're an airhead. You're an airhead. Why did that woman get killed in the head? Explain to me how that woman, it was not her fault, Michelle. Explain to me, was she like, was she like kidnapped and brought there against her will and then thrown up like a bullet shield or something? Like how the fuck did it not, how did she get to the front of the protest group, Michelle? How the fuck did they lead her all the way to the front of the crowd and then decide like, we're going to push you through the door and use you as a target in a bullet magnet and all the bullets will come to you and they'll use all the guns and then when we're done, after you've got shot a thousand times, we're going to go in there when we got no bullets left and then we're going to win the battle. What do you think about defacing and vandalizing? The White House. You really don't want to get into constitutions with me. You don't want to get political with me. I promise you, I will. Fuck <laughs> you. you have no idea. You don't what want to get into politics with me. I'm not going to go there. I want to pass in the fucking house today, and I can tell you shit that Biden's trying to pass that the Republicans are fucking crashing every single day. I can tell you what went on voting today. That was Trump's fault. January 6th was Trump's fault. Well, you go ahead and say that, and you sound like Trump you're not triggering me. He's a poor loser, he's a poor loser, loser Michelle. He's a poor loser. He's a sour loser. He should have left with grace and, and been an American. Okay, okay, well, you say that. He wanted to be in a standoff, and he got an American, got an American woman shot in the head. He looks like everybody that has Michelle, a hand. That's Michelle, he got shot in the head. He got a woman shot in the head. Yeah, he did. Sure, he did. He, he goosed her and gave that to Mark. Ashley Babbitt. She was a white lady. Oh, you know her name? Do you know how she died? Yes, I do. Because somebody thought she might have a gun, and that fucking reckless cop shot her in the head. I hate the cop. Fuck the police. All right, we can agree on that. Fuck the police. I'm just fucking with you. Jeez, you win. That was funny. Ashley Babbitt should have never been murdered at the Capitol. It is a public place. Everybody has a right to go to the Capitol building. It is a public fucking place. They had no right at all, period, to lock us down except saying COVID, COVID, COVID. Nothing was done wrong except fucking false bullshit COVID shit that's fake anyway. You don't think that they were acting in an unruly manner? That they were no, assembling in an illegal it, fashion? It wasn't the Trump you think that thousands of people... What do you mean it was when they started lighting shit on it fire and breaking the windows? Supporters that did that, the Trump supporters were saying, stop, stop, stop. How do you tell the difference? Wait, wait, How could you tell the difference? That you saw on camera How could you tell the difference between this there. one and that one? He was there on January 6th. Chuck was there. Michelle, I got a serious question. Were you there? My friend Chuck, that was on camera with me in Dallas, was there. I was at the Trump rally January 29th in 2021 in Conroe, Texas. Michelle, guess what? You just got Chuck indicted. Good job, knucklehead. Indicted for going to a Trump, for going to a rally? January 6th Ooh. with no rally? I said it was he January 6th. He was Terrible. there on January 6th. I didn't say he stormed the Capitol. He was there. Yes, he was there on January 6th. Of course he fucking was. I was supposed to go. Well, can you stop telling on him, Sheesh? You were supposed to go. What happened? I don't know. Something happened where I couldn't go. I couldn't get a dog sitter or something. There was no intentions on storming the Capitol. That was fucking staged. It was staged. And how the mayor of that fucking town treated our National Guardsmen, making them sleep in a parking garage in freezing cold weather without regular food and toiletries and bathrooms for three fucking days? Fuck those fucking Democrat liberal motherfuckers. You twat sucking little vagina, pink vagina screaming. Oh, that's what I think. Homophobic. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, whatever. I just wanted to get around to going about your business. I'm going to take a break. I got to go get ready to get my herbage. Uh, Michelle, as loony as ever, you're welcome. What an end. Let me start my show uh, for later. I'll uh, come right back on the show, 7 p.m., but probably earlier. Michelle, you're you're an insane person. I can't reason with that. I got to catch up on the way out. Can't take her serious without seeing her face. That was gold. We should add her on camera. Maybe another time. Let's let Michelle sit. Hold on a second. Oh, she turned the camera on. Hold on, Michelle. What are you doing? I'll bring you back to say goodbye. Why are you turning the camera off? Uh oh. oh Michelle's done. Oh, there you are. All right, Michelle, you've lost your noodles. Trump Don't is the best it. president that has ever hit the United States since Ronald Reagan. <laughs> Can you continue with and your fire? Because they were both were businessmen. Isn't Michelle, that funny? That was Trump's fault. were in politics. They were both businessmen. And both of those men that were in the country. That was Trump's fault. Great. You don't agree that that woman got killed as a result of Trump taking the people Reagan was a fucking actor and stepped in and ran this country. Was that woman because of Trump? Ray, Trump was a businessman and stepped in and ran this country. And anyone that does not agree with that, that's the only thing I agree with with Molly Golightly. Molly Golightly and I share the same political views. 100% across the board. 100%. Molly and I share the same. Want to be Molly? Why did she get crowbarred in here? She's nobody over here, Michelle. I don't even know who I'm that is. I'm telling you, 100%. Me and Molly share the same the opinions. Board. You guys are both idiots. <laughs> you share that in common. Mm. Love you, Skeen. Mm, I'm going to lay down. All right, yeah, lay down, Michelle. Go lay down. Get the hell out of here. Gee, Louise. All righty. Well, goodness gracious.
I'm not political at all. I don't give a shit. I would just fucking Michelle. <laughs> I don't care about that. I'm only just joking. I've never voted in my life, and I'm not political. Uh-huh. Oh, that was funny. Damn, I wanted her to see, see her all fired up, but she looked like she was red in the face. She was serious for a minute. 